So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans Veil Tithe sets. If you guys know, we already did the Hunter. It is right here. We basically do what we're going to do in this video where we make full sets out of all of the pieces from the Veil Tithe set. So this is a, a series that I've made, and I really like these because it really challenges me to make some different sets that I haven't made before, especially since some of the sets that we get are so different to some of the older sets that we've gotten so specifically this one it's just kind of like a combination of hive and royalty so that's why i'm like really happy with a lot of sets that i made with this titans i will say you guys got extra because i could not use the helmet on certain pieces so i ended up just doing new pieces you're, you're still going to see four videos of my titan going for like around but the helmet pieces i'm not because those were just extra that i made at the end so you still have six sets that I made you, but two of them are not animated. So that's what I mean. So before we start with the video, let's just get this out of the way. The Veil Tithe set video is already made. You can check it out right here. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And overall, I think it's a really good video. And we also have the shader video, which it's just a video where I show you all of the shaders that I currently own on the armor set for the Titans, Hunters and Warlocks. So. That's pretty much it. Check those videos out if you want. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're gonna be using the arms. And for this one, we're using the Veil Tithe Gauntlets, obviously. For the helmet, Helm of the Taken King is what we're using for this one because I think it look, pairs really well with the arms. Chest piece, War Newman's chest piece, I think looks really good with this whole set. And then for the exotic, we're gonna be using the Abane Leaps. I think these boots are super cool, especially with this whole set. And then for the mark, we're gonna be using Fanala's Iron Mark. So this one, I'm actually like really proud of this one, like uber proud because I think everything looks cool. If I were to tell you one thing is the fact that I fucking hate that the Helm of the Taken King takes shaders absolutely terribly because most people won't notice it and I'm kind of happy about that. But if you see the helmet for long enough and then you see everything else, you're going to notice that the helmet actually has a different armor color. It's because the Taken King set, all of it has a glow overneath the armor, everything. Everything has a glow overneath and it pisses me off because Ego Melligan looks really cool with this set. But when you see it for too long, you start noticing like, oh, well, it's a different color than the, the other armor pieces. The other armor pieces are like a very bright bone color. And the other one is not that like that bright. And it also looks kind of desaturated. And then if you see the top of the helmet, you guys will see that it's like a different color of blue than everything else. And overall, yeah, it pisses me off. I know the reason I still do it is because I know people won't notice it at first glance. But then when they start to look at it, then that's when they notice it. But overall, I think this looks really cool. Again, like I said, if I were to switch something out, I would probably just end up putting the Veil Tides helmet in here just because two pieces in an armor set doesn't bug me as much as it used to. And the Taken King set just pisses me off because of the shader difference. So that's what I would end up doing. But overall, you can really use anything you want. You could use the War Newman's chest, the helmet if you want, or you could do what I'm going to do and just use the helmet from Crota, which is coming up this week. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to switch out that helmet. If it shaders terribly, then that's going to be a problem. So we'll, get, we'll, we'll go over that when I get the armor. As for the next set, we're going to be using the chest piece. And for this one, we're going to be using the Nevois Perpet. I don't know how to say this. It's probably French uh, for the Kind of Ramparts. I think this all looks really weird, but in a good way, I, I hope. So I ended up going with the Nevois Perpet uh, ornament just because for, again, I think I said this in the Hunter video, but for me, this looks more like Hive meets Royalty. And for me, the Nevois Parapet just looks very bougie. So that's why I combined it both of them. The Forbidden Visage helmet, uh, honestly, I'm using this because every other helmet I put on this looked way too small with the chest piece. So I think the Forbidden Visage was a perfect choice for that. For the boots, Forian Greaves is what we're using. And then for the Mark Knight, Nightly Noir Mark is what we're using. So this one is a little weird. I'm also using the Nougat Delight ornament or shader because I think it looks really cool with it. But I'm going to be real with you guys. I do think this is the weirdest one. And this isn't the only one that I'm using the chest piece. So if you're like, oh, man, I was hoping you'd do something cool with the chest piece. Don't worry. I think I have like two or three more with the chest piece because, again, the chest piece, I think, is the coolest part. But yeah, I, I apologize that this may not be to everyone's fancy. I know there's probably one person out there that might like it. So that's enough for me. But 
I would definitely not wear this ornament or specifically this look just because I already have a Kaiden Ramparts look that I like to go to. And this one is just so far out there that I probably wouldn't think about it like doing this set. So I do apologize. But again, I do like to show my L's as well, just because I'm not human or I am human. <laughs> I am human. I make mistakes. Obviously, I just made one. So that's why I make I do show my L's. As for the next set, this one I'm actually pretty proud of. Uh, for the helmet enduring Karker, helmet is what we're using. For the arms, we're gonna be using the no backup plans. Chest piece desolate desolation uh, diver plate is what we're using. For the boots, obviously, we're using the veil tithes boots, and then for the mark contender mark. So this one I have to explain a few things. I ended up using the veil tithes boots for this one because i liked how it looked with the desolation diver i think it looks really cool together and then everything just kind of started falling into place the no backup plans i thought because i was like oh well i'm gonna use purple because the veil uh the desolation diver plate has that purple um shield in the back so i want some purple in there for the arms as well and then i was like fuck it i might as well use the contender mark because i know that has purple especially if i combine it with the grand luster shader and then I switched out the shader for the arms instead of Grand Luster, I ended up putting uh, Calluses Selected because Calluses Selected gives me that black instead of all the pure white that the Grand Luster would have. To be fair, though, I don't know if that's completely accurate because these shaders are weird. So it might be just all Grand Luster and I took a picture without noticing, or it might be the fact that Callus Selected actually does tr turn some of those pieces black either or I like how it came out. I do have to know because I know people are going to tell me in the comments, oh, well, it's not the same purple, Tony. Um, no backup plant actually looks a little bit lighter than all the than the other purples. This is something that you just have to know because uh, I just know the no backup plants actually has a lighter hue in the custer, ca cust character customization screen than the actual in game look. So in game, it's actually going to be a lot darker it took um, actually really close, if not close to the purples on the shield and the mark. So don't worry about that. If you're wondering like, oh, well, the purples are, are completely different. I'm not going to use that. Don't worry. It's actually going to be a one to one if not. So just be aware of that. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Knightly Noir Helm with the actual arms of Optimus C. I think both of these look really cool, especially with the chest piece. This is the other chest piece set that I made because I think it looks really cool. And this one, we're combining the mark as well. And then last but not least, Nemean Greaves is what we're using. So this one, I ended up going with Donning Brilliance because again, I was going for bougie look for this one. And I think I achieved it because it looks super, super cool. To be fair, I think the helmet is cool and it goes really well with Arms of Optimacy, but I don't know, man. <clears throat> I think it's just the chest piece looks so massive that if you don't combine an equally massive helmet, then it kind of looks weird, but I do kind of like how this one looks. This one is definitely my favorite. Uh, just because of how just bougie it looks. Uh, that being said, I don't know if it's like my super Well, I, to be fair, my first one's my favorite, hands down. Like, I don't even have to think about it. But this one just has so much potential to be something even crazier. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this one. Just the, the fact that it just looks really, really cool. And then for the next sets, we're going to be using the helmets on both of these. And I do apologize for those who wanted to see me animate these, but I was just like... I already made four of them. I'm not going to animate these two because I just want these to be super fast. So for this one, Arms of Optimacy, we're going to be reusing that, but we're going to be using the helmet and the chest piece for Veiled of, of our Veiled Tithes. And then for the boots, we're going to be using Greaves of Roll. And then the Nightly New Armor Mark is what we're using with the Metro Shift. So this one's cool. Uh, my only gripe about it is just the fact that <clears throat> I just made it out of like whims. I was like, I need a helmet. So I need a helmet piece in this. And I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. Speaking of which, let's look at the second one because the second one is actually even weirder. So for this one, we're going to be using the Veil Tithes uh, helmet again, but then we're going to be using the Veil Tithes gauntlets. I think these two pair way better than the chest piece and the helmet. To be fair, I think all of it looks really, really good. Obviously, they're made together, but for me, it's weird because like I like the helmet and the gauntlets a lot, but I also like the chest piece and the gauntlet a lot. So I don't know. Either pick your poison at that point. For the chest piece, Tech Games Regalia is what we're using just because I wanted, I don't know what I wanted actually. I just saw it and I was like, this looks really cool. I don't know why. And then Resonant Fury Greaves is what we're using. And then Wolf Kiss Mark. So here I could actually switch out a few things. I would actually switch out Wolf Kiss Mark for something else. And I would probably switch out the shader for something else because we're using Crucible Regjack for a lot of this 
until you get to resident fury greaves then we switch to carminica the reason is because carminica or specifically resident fury takes the off color of whatever shader you're using so for this one it actually would have taken the white if i ended up using uh crucible red jack so at that, in that sense it's actually pretty good that we're using the ch the chest piece and the boots because then it actually still takes shaders together kind of so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think which one is your favorite uh, out of all the six that i've showed you i will say the first one is definitely my favorite just because uh it just looks like it's it came out of a set and i would say i don't know like there's some sets that you make that you're just like wow this looks this looks like a guardian this looks like an actual named guardian in the universe and that's what i felt when i set when i saw this one i was like wow this looks like an actual character in game and i really really love it so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.